make our mark, we gotta be ready for anything. Like teaming up with the SOE, British Special Forces. Something big's happening. Gotta be. Davis is here. We received intelligence from the resistance about a German train carrying V-2 rockets for an attack on Paris, refueling near Argenton. That gives us just enough time to move our team into position. It must be stopped. You proved yourselves in Marinier, which is why you'll get the opportunity and the privilege. Thank you, sir, but it seems like a job for more than one platoon. That's why I'm teaming you up with the SOE. Looks like you two caught a bit of it. Don't worry, Lieutenant. We saved some for you. Agents Vivian and Crowley will lead the operation. They've been working with the Resistance for months and know the terrain well. We'll defer to them. We heard about Marigny. Impressive. I can't take all the credit. Just doing our job. And a fine job it was, but a warm-up, I'm afraid. Look, this is no ordinary German supply train. It's a fortress on wheels. A liaison in the Resistance, Rousseau, will provide support if possible, but attacks on their network could mean we're on our own. The fate of Paris is in your hands. Reminds me of the time we parachuted into Vercourt. Ambushed that Gestapo patrol. You're just an old romantic. All right, there's our target. Well, you gotta give those crowds some credit. Train's right on time. <laughs> Biggest train I've ever seen. Thickest armor, too. It's a Panzerzug. Those V2s have a range of 200 miles, more than enough to hit Paris. We can't let it reach the launch site. Shh, shh, shh. Enemy movement up ahead. All right, Vivian, I'll take them out. Turn that, that'll be your signal to advance. Daniels, since you and Justin were so gung ho at Marinier, you'll provide them with fire support. Come on, all right, let's go. Everyone stay low. Suppressor's on. Abre 
Shoot a grenade! I need more ammo, sir! It's here, private! Toss it! Catch! Daniels, get up! Everyone in the jeep, now! We need to stop that train! Let's go, let's go! Hold on! Shit, look out! Stay on the path! Freeze is coming down! Hang on! Can you see it? Your chance, take the wheel. Find them up. Try to hit them. Keep steady. They're throwing grenades. Take. Get to the front of the train! Keep firing! Holy shit, did that just happen? Can't believe we made it. That's one for the books. 
I hope Styles had his camera. Pearson might even get off our asses for five damn minutes. Look out! Follow me. I'll take you to your platoon. I'm sorry. Who the hell are you? A friend. No hurry. <coughs> On the train cars! First aid kit ready when you are! Over here! Here you go! I'm setting them up! I believe these men belong to you. I see you've met Rousseau. She's with the Maquis, French resistance. She killed a crowd that was gunning for us. You could at least try to capture and interrogate them first. There would be more trouble than there were. I thought we lost you. Looks like you did some damage. The train was supposed to be stopped, not destroyed. Yeah, I'm sorry that uh, things didn't go exactly as planned, but on the bright side, we've just alerted every goddamn German outpost in the whole area, so we gotta get moving. Come on. Not until we finish the mission. Isn't that right, Major? We'll need your help in security. Don't know how, but Zuss and I survived wrecking that train long enough to find ourselves rendezvousing with a tough French gal. Goes by Rousseau. She's a member of the resistance, and if you can believe it, she made us paw through the wreckage for some papers. She needed them for a mission in Paris. And she had a job for us, too. By blowing up that train, we bought Paris more time. August 1944. This is it. We're going to liberate Paris. The French 2nd Armored Division and the U.S. 4th Infantry arrive at dawn. It's been a week since we took out that train. Our platoon's in the middle of Paris, working with the resistance. Rousseau and Crowley have a plan to sabotage the occupation, and that means striking at its heart. Using the documents we obtained from the train, Rousseau and I will pose as Nazi officers to infiltrate the garrison. This way, gentlemen. The garrison is run by SS and Polizeiführer Heinrich. And he couldn't find me. He came for my parents. And my husband. And finally, my son. Tonight, 
Everything we've lost, everything we fought for, will mean something. Tonight, we take back our city. The garrison. Our contact there will supply us with explosives. And when we blow the gates, that'll be your signal to approach. We're counting on you. All right, boys. Let's get ready. These crowds ain't gonna give up easy. <laughs> I figure we can survive Pearson, we can survive anything. I fought alongside him with Kasserine. We should all be so brave. It won't be long now, mes amis. But first, we enter the wolf's den. See you there. One more check. Nasty fucks. We're going, we're going. Soon this nightmare will be over. If you're stopped, the cover story must be ironclad. Let's go over it again. You are Gerda Schneider, a military attaché. You were sent by Heschpiegel and foreign intelligence to arrange for Heinrich's safe evacuation to Berlin. Take some time to review the dossier. This is our one chance. Recruiting our inside man came at a terrible price. You ought to find him and exchange your briefcase with his. Hopefully, he's obtained the explosives we need to blow the gates. You worry too much, Major. That's my job. I'll meet you in front of the garrison when the operation is complete. Who sent you? Hush, Beagle. Good. Whatever happens, once you make the trade, you must maintain possession of the briefcase at all times. I've come this far. I'll be damn sure I'm going to finish it. Bitte sehr. Ich habe Sie hier noch nie gesehen. Was ist der Grund Ihres Besuchs? Ich habe Reisedokumente für Polizeiführer Heinrich. Ich wurde darüber nicht informiert. Aber Ihre Papiere scheinen in Ordnung zu sein. Sie können weiter, Frau Schneider. I remember. Your contact's name is Fischer. He's wearing a grey officer's uniform. Tell me the passphrase. Berlin. Good luck. Guten Abend. Ich komme gerade aus Berlin. Können Sie mir ein gutes Hotel empfehlen? Tut mir leid, Fräulein. Der Zutritt. Halt! Kein Zutritt! Zeigen Sie mir Ihre Papiere. Weißt du, was ich hier will? Oder? 
Der Keller ist für Personen ohne entsprechende Freigabe gesperrt. Verschwinden Sie! Das geht Sie nichts an! Sassafui! Mais, mais qu'est-ce que. Restez cachés. La résistance sera bientôt là. Vos camarades sont en chemin. Vive la résistance! Muss ja neu sein. Von meinem Mann beschreibt sie sich seit einer ganzen Weile der Erste. Ja, ich hätte täglich schreiben würde, aber ich habe im vergangenen Jahr. Leider, Sie haben das falsch ausgedrückt. Weißt du, was ich hier will? Das Treppenhaus ist nur für autorisiertes Personal. Bleiben Sie stehen und zeigen Sie Ihre Papiere. Sollte eigentlich alles in Ordnung sein. Sie müssen hier neu sein. Dieses Treppenhaus ist nur für Offiziere. Zu wem wollen Sie? Polizeiführer Heinrich. Der Wachmann in der Empfangshalle meinte, ich sollte diese Treppen nehmen. Herr Heinrich muss befohlen haben, die Haupttreppe zu schließen. Gehen Sie. Der Balkon ist zurzeit gesperrt. Stopp! Ich sagte doch, der Balkon ist gesperrt. Geben Sie mir Ihre Papiere. Ich habe sie hier, bei mir. Was haben Sie in der Aktentasche? Ich habe Reisedokumente dabei. Alles in Ordnung. Gehen Sie weiter. Personal darf hier nicht warten. Stopp! Ich sagte doch, kein Zutritt. Geben Sie mir Ihre Papiere. Bitte sehr. Hm. Herr Heinrichs Büro ist im zweiten Stock. Was wollen Sie von ihm? Ich habe Reisedokumente für ihn. Ja, also gut. Gehen Sie. Kennst du sie? Ich 
Zeit Wieso sind sie noch nicht weg? Aber ich kenne Gestapo. Ich habe gesagt, sie sollen gehen. Wir sollten umgehend diese Berichte lesen. Entschuldigen Sie bitte die Störung, mein Herr. Wie kann ich Ihnen helfen? Man sagte mir, ich könnte hier Oberst Fischer finden. Sie haben ihn gefunden. Ich bin Oberst Fischer. Was kann ich für Sie tun? Oh, sieht nach einer weiteren Nachtschicht aus. Haben Sie die Werke Valenz gelesen? Ja, das Herbstlied mag ich besonders gerne. Es ist auch einer meiner Lieblingsgedichte. Bitte, hier in St. Fräulein. Psst, das würde ich nicht so laut sagen. Ich sage Ihnen Are you ready to make the exchange? No, you're early. And I'm late for a meeting. I'll have the explosives in a case matching yours. We'll have to make the swap in the war room. Lead the way. No, they're watching me. <clears throat> Use your cover to get into Heinrich's office on the third floor. From there, you can cut across to the north wing and avoid the checkpoints. We shouldn't be seen together. Go now, and I'll meet you in the war room. Kann ich Ihnen behilflich sein, Fräulein? Ja, ich habe Reisedokumente für Herrn Heinrich. Ist er da? Nein, er ist momentan in einer wichtigen Besprechung. Sie können gerne in seinem Büro warten, er kommt gleich zurück. Ich habe Sie noch nie gesehen. Darf ich fragen, was Sie an meinem Fenster zu suchen haben? Verzeihung, Herr Kommandant. Ich wollte gerade nur etwas frische Luft schnappen. Ich bin Gerda Schneider. Ich komme aus Berlin, um Ihnen Ihre Reisepapiere zu bringen. Fräulein Schneider? Ich habe auf Ihren Auslandsstudium gehört. Es war in Cambridge, oder? Ja, das ist richtig. Wenn es Ihnen jetzt recht ist, kann ich Ihnen Ihre Reisepapiere zeigen. Da kommen wir nach sich. Vielen Dank. Danken mir sehr noch nicht, Fräulein Schneider. Oh, now, if you will indulge me. Perhaps we can converse in English, as you know, I'm sure practice makes perfect. Bitte. Nehmen Sie das Blatt. Have a seat. So, Herr Gruber sent you to arrange for my departure. I am flattered. It was Herr Commander Spiegel. <laughs> Sehr gut. Very good. <laughs> One cannot be too careful these days. <laughs> you look so serious. Let us drink. For my return to the Fatherland. The French deserve each other. <laughs> 
God, my God! I will miss the cuisine. Take the Ortolan. That tiny, delicate songbird. Its eyes poked out so that it can gorge. And then it's drowned in cognac. It's ingenious. I'm not sure what I will miss more. Savoring this sweet flesh or watching it thrash to death. Hmm? But there is one thing of which I am certain. Watching your son flail as he drowned under my boot gave me the greatest pleasure of all. <laughs>